Well, Marin, you arrived in Paris with an opportunity of reaching the World Tour Finals in London. That has now been achieved. First of all, what an amazing achievement to reach London for the second time. What does that mean to you? It means definitely a lot. It was, as I was mentioning, a goal of my season and uh, uh, great to, to achieve it in this kind of way with uh, winning seven matches in a row, winning Basel and uh, winning here a couple of matches and also against uh, David Goffin today. A, a contender as well for the World Tour Finals and uh, it was a great match and uh, just really really happy to, to make it there but I of course want to continue with my good form and uh, obviously to uh, to use it uh, really really well for these last few weeks of the season. As you say it has been a fantastic run I wonder how much has that goal of of reaching London actually been a motivating factor in this run? It was extremely motivating I mean you can't uh, you can't run from that and it's uh, something that's very interesting for for all the people and all the players to see how are going to be uh, players uh, playing under the pressure and uh, for me it shows that I handle it really really well and uh, obviously it shows that uh, in, I'm playing in a great form and uh, what, a, what a way to, to make it. I earned it really well uh, with, with my own wins and uh, not uh, with mathematics or, or uh, with uh, different points uh, losing or winning. It's, uh, it's just a matter of uh, doing my own things on my own part of the court and uh, really done it uh, really well in these last 10 days. It was a strange match in a way this afternoon. As you say, David also had a chance, uh, albeit a slim one, to reach London, but there seemed to be a few nerves out there, understandably, I guess. Did that seem to sort of affect the play for both of you at times, the pressure, I guess? Um, there were nerves, obviously. I mean, you can't, uh, you can't run from that, but it's... Uh, I think that the, the level of tennis was really, really high and uh, for me to come into the match against David, uh, I lost to him three times in this season, obviously not easy in those, in those kind of situations, but I handled it pretty, pretty good and uh, that first set we exchanged a few breaks, but not necessarily that the server was, was not serving well, I think uh, just the level of, of the game from the back of the court was really, really high and then uh, obviously the second set showed to be that we were in quite uh, quite similar level, and that uh, tiebreak was a, was a quite a thriller. So it was uh, I was quite relieved to to get it through in, in two sets. And it's certainly not going to get any easier in the quarterfinals. It's going to be Novak Djokovic or or Grig or Dimitrov. We don't know who that's going to be yet. But I guess now you have London secured. I guess mm -hmm. the pressure's off. Everything else is a bonus. And the way you're playing, you yeah. must be happy to face anyone. Really. Absolutely. I mean, uh, now it's pressure is off, but uh, I want to keep that pressure because I was playing so well under it and uh, you know course is here and uh, just uh, playing really good in this in this form won seven matches in a row and you know whatever whatever happens in that match between Novak or Grigor I'm gonna have to get into the next one uh, with uh, with good confidence and uh, with good tennis that I'm playing and uh, obviously the motivation has been a, a good key for me in these last uh, in last a few months so just hoping that I can continue with that and uh, stay obviously fresh uh, for the rest of the matches of, of the tournament here.